to fully understand the situation in New Talk, you first have to understand just how isolated this tiny Alaskan village is. And what it takes to get there. Bush, Alaska, everything's flown in. That includes visitors. There's four exits, two in the front, two in the back. Flown in on small charter planes like this. Over land that's slowly disappearing. Francis Tom has lived in New Talk his entire life. Wilder shit. After years of erosion, scary. This is all the land left that separates some houses from the nearest river. Oh my word. The water's frozen right now, but the effects are still plain to see. Ten years ago, what was this like? Ten years ago, we had land. We had more land over here. And then you see this river over here, duh. That wasn't right there, and then the rose made a river. A river that's washing away so much shoreline, experts say the land is no longer safe to live on. community anywhere in North America to be relocated because of climate change. This road used to be probably higher than this, two feet, three feet. Thawing permafrost beneath the soil and hundreds of coastal storms through the years have worn away the land. For more than a decade, village leaders have been fighting for millions of dollars in federal support to move families off this sinking land and across the river to a new village being built on more stable soil. Within the next five, ten years, we will uh, see big changes there. Martin Stufer is a climatologist with the Alaska Climate Research Center in Fairbanks. His team has had their eyes on the situation in Utah for several years. Stufer says the biggest problem exists just south of the village in the waters off the Bering Sea. If the sea is not ice covered, during main parts of winter, the, the atmosphere, the overlying atmosphere is way warmer than normal. So we see extreme uh, warmer temperatures and uh, that affects the whole uh, yeah, weather and climate in the area. Translation, underneath all the ice and snow covering this village, New Talk is feeling the effects of a dangerous warm up at sea. Kenyan Kasaiuli uses this frozen river as a skating rink during the cold winter months. The trip from his grandparents' house to the river has gotten shorter. It used to be hundreds of yards away from the middle of the village. But the water has now crept so far in, when it freezes, skating is only a few yards from his door. And when it's not frozen, their yard is more like a swamp. <laughs> Kenyan's grandfather David has lived in Utah for generations. The water's boiling. Then we put the fish in. Last year, the softening soil caused the foundation of his house to buckle. I didn't think much about it because I, I had gotten used to the house shaking so much that I didn't realize wh when it was going to fall after it hit the ground and then made a, a loud bang. What do you have to say to people who don't believe climate change is real? Mm. Well. To those people, I'd say, come up here and then see for yourself. See what you think. It used to be way, way much more further. Now it's like uh, closer this year. Taking in what's left of New Talk, Francis thinks leaving the sinking land might be good for his community. I'll be so happy if we move. Why is that? Because uh, it's a better place over where we're moving. In 
while the people of New Talk might be moving, he says they will not be abandoning what's most important, their culture. No, we're going to leave with our culture. We're going to stay with our culture.